they are my comedy gods, Mount Olympus. And I was, I'm, I'm a sad wannabe python. I, always, I, I see myself in a very annoying way. In, like They're the Magnificent Seven, and I'm Horst Buchholz, who played the, the Mexican guy who was saying, can I join you guys, you're the gunslingers. And then he just keeps following them and following them and following them into the adventure until your brother goes, come on. And then, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's me. I remember watching it with my dad when I was very, very young and, and it just being hilarious because of the, you know, without seeing any of the intellect or the, or the, or the sort of searing satire, um, I just saw the wigs and uh, stuff like that, which was hilarious just on that level. And then as I got older and I watched the repeats and I realised just how, um, how clever and layered it, 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 it is. I was the generation that was 13, 14, 15 when they were uh, on, on television and it was before video and yet somehow the adolescent uh, memory can, can repeat almost word for word the next day in the playground or whatever, the sketches. And I can remember absolutely kind of, I can visualise where I was in the school where with a friend we were going on about so-and-so being a woody word and that's a tinny word and, um, and, the, and the Spanish Inquisition talking about nobody expected. I mean, for days we would re repeat these. Whenever I see John, I know something's untoward is going to happen. <laughs> Uh, so I, I see him as kind of the leader of the pack, maybe because he's the tallest. I, I have no idea why. They're all great. I, I, I can't pick one over another. They're all uh, solidly silly, funny uh, boys. My big influence that made me want to get involved in comedy was the young ones. And it's so obvious that they were clearly influenced by... Python, you know. The the comedy that we I've done with Alexander Armstrong, that's all we ever talked about was Monty Python. It's always been our main influence. And it's actually hard to, to make sketch comedy after Monty Python. I always felt it, you you're kind of I mean, almost to do anything creative after the sixties felt like a bit of a <laughs> you know, a bit of a big ask.